a lot of rumors had been spreading online and I had been trying my best to tell people and I hope that those people understand now that the stupid shit that they were saying was very unnecessary and I I don't understand why some of that stuff was being said because it was never really feasible you know it it didn't make any sense like they had one text and they thought that he ran off with a cult and, and all this other shit like they had you know the new york city police department say they found his belongings and they had a suicide note video and all kinds of other shit and then they were just like, oh, well, he must have ran off with a cult because this guy on Instagram said so, you know, it just, I don't understand. But unfortunately, it's just, it's a fucking terrible thing, man. Like, the, he's gone forever. Like, he's killed himself. It's over. Like, there's no chance of him ever coming back. His cries for help weren't taken serious enough. He didn't get the help that he needed, you know. It, it just, everything was failed. Like, all, all of his cries for help were failed when it was needed most. I mean, it's very clear that mental health is an issue that needs to be taken a lot more seriously, and, you know, it just, it's a really fucking tragic thing for the whole community. I, I, I think even people who aren't Etika fans can agree that this is a fucking tragic thing for the whole community, and we can all agree that this is a horrible thing. I mean, even if the dude had outbreaks on Twitter and shit, and you know, said some outrageous shit on Twitter and had his outbursts doesn't mean he deserved to kill himself, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, one of the first times uh, in my YouTube career, I, I had like, I think like 14,000 subscribers. I mean, I, I had like a, a pretty tiny channel at the time. One of the first times uh, I had an interaction with like a, a quote-unquote uh, big creator here on the platform w was actually uh, with Etika and his fan base. I don't know if it was actually uh, directly with Etika or not. I, I have no idea, but um. I was streaming one day and uh, a bunch of his viewers came in and started spamming Joy-Con boys in, in the comments of the stream and shit. And, you know, I mean, I still remember that. Like, it was one of, like, the first big moments where, like, a big creator's fan base ever really noticed me or anything. And, you know, I still remember that shit to this day. And, I mean, it just, it, it going fast forwarding almost to now where this guy has fucking killed himself because... Apparently, he, he had a tainted legacy because of all of his Twitter outbursts and whatnot. It's just, it's fucking tragic, man. It's just horrible. I mean, people gotta start taking mental health a lot more seriously. It's just, I mean, that shit's serious. That, that stuff kills people. I mean, it's pretty apparent that shit kills people. I mean, take a look at it. I mean, the evidence is right there. So, rest in peace, Desmond, or Etika, whatever you want to call him by. Um, my condolences definitely go out to his long time fans I mean I wasn't like a I'm not gonna call myself a fan of him because I didn't really watch his content but my condolences to his fans to his family to his friends of course to him I mean just a really shitty way to go out and I mean nobody deserves that man that's just fucking terrible